much, Captain Cullen. Welcome on board the Little Miami, my friends. I just want to make sure we got that bag right there, and in front you got the bag here. Oh, can I, uh, my friend, what is your name? What was it? Nehemiah, can I see that bag real quick, Nehemiah? You can hand it to me. Oh, no, not, not the animal, the bag. There we go. There you go, my friend. Did you know you were holding a bag of very explosive dynamite? You didn't know that? Don't worry, it's not your fault. It's all my friend in there. It's all their fault. All right, we're all going to blame them later. All right. Everyone see this red tag right here? The red tag on the bag? Red means dead. Not you, dead. Obviously, you're fine. Don't worry. We're, we're all safe. I mean, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. It's an acronym. It stands for Dempsey's Explosive Devices. I promise I know how to spell, folks. Like I said, I graduated second grade. All right. I'm going to put this bag with the rest of the dynamite right up here in this box. That way, if we blow up, we only blow up right here. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> now, my friend, what's your name? Y Yana? Hannah. Oh, can I see the bag real quick, Hannah? Thank you so much, Hannah. Now, my friend Hannah is holding the bag with the yellow tag. This is the gold because gold is yellow. There's no rhyme there. That's just pretty easy to remember. Hannah, I'll get it from you later, all right? Once again, folks, the name of this year's vessel is the Little Miami. My name is Alec, on account of my mama always calling me Smart Alec. And welcome to the infamous Snake River. Now, I do got to teach all the Snake River Wolf Call in case you run into any danger out there, all right? The Snake River Wolf Call goes a little bit like this. Oh! And now y'all repeat it. All right, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now, y'all give me that call if you run into any danger out here on the river, like snakes or outlaws or even the Basilisk, Ooh. Don't worry, it ain't gonna happen. Basilisk ain't real, all right. Now, oh, folks, well, uh, good news, y'all. I do get introduced to a real live bear today. Bad news is that's my house. Hey, bear, get off my property. You're ruining my property value. I ain't gonna resell that again later. It's only 10 square feet anyways, nobody wants it. Now, if you see that raccoon, that's Bandit. He does my laundry for me. Thanks so much, Bandit. Now, we were going to have some live music instrumentation for y'all today. Looks like them critters got to hold the instruments instead. Well, uh, I think I need a little more rehearsal time. You're a little off pitch there, friend. Yeah, try that again. Oh, now, if y'all were curious as to what the Berenstein Bears did at retirement, looks like they joined a swing band. Swing band, because they're swinging. Just so y'all know, I get paid by the laugh, so the more you chuckle, the more I get paid. So thank you in advance for all the pity laughs. Oh, folks, now we are about to meet my very best friend in the whole world, Flapjack McGee, best friend since second grade. Like I said, last Friday when I graduated. Everyone wave hello to Flapjack McGee. Looks like he's cooking up some Flapjacks, which would make sense because that's his name after all. Dang it. I bet he was going to make waffles today. Oh, really? You know, you yeah, lucked out I on just, that pool. I just lost a bit. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry. Hey, uh, hey uh, McGee, Flapjack, yeah, could you save me some for the next time I'm around? Thank you, buddy. Oh, and a little extra syrup on the side, too. Thank you. You want some pancakes? Blackjack makes the best pancakes you will ever eat, I'll tell you that. Oh, and there's Mrs. McGee over there. Mrs. McGee, hard at work. You might say she's busy as a beaver. Because she's the beaver. Good folks, there you go. Hey, Mrs. McGee, you're doing great work, my friend. Keep it up. Now, folks, we are approaching my favorite part of the tour. Y'all ever heard of Crystal Rock Bottling Company before? Huh? They're famous around these parts for their moonshine, huh? You like your moonshine? Yeah, I like me some moonshine too, don't worry, folks. Now, not all of their product makes it out to market because, well, frankly, you can't sell tampered goods. Looks like them raccoons are doing quite a little bit of tampering over there, fellas. Might want to take it easy. Union Inspector could be coming by any minute now. Hang on a second, Bandit, is that you? How'd you get all the way to this side of the river? You're supposed to be doing my laundry. Oh my goodness, folks! Why don't y'all warn me about the snakes dangling from the ceiling now, y'all? I just, it's a little too late now. Good to know that you remember the snake river wolf call, that's good. Whew, just so y'all know, I'm allergic to snakes. Not like deathly allergic, I just tend to sneeze a lot when I'm around them. Oh. Now it looks like we are approaching Seville up here on the right. Now Seville is a lawless land, folks, and I usually don't show it on the tour because, frankly, this place gives me the creeps. But we're making a delivery for Trapper Dan, so we gotta do what we gotta do. Now it looks like we have a friend on the dock there. Let's make sure she's one of ours with that Snake River Wolf call. We're gonna do it on three. All right, folks. All right, one, two, three. Oh! All right, very nice. Looks like she's one of our friends. Bring her on in, Captain. Hey there, friend. How you doing? I'm doing all right myself. Not much to complain about, right? Pretty peaceful. Yeah, looks like there's nobody over there. Yeah, maybe they're all hiding. No, you never know. <laughs> now, I got a very important question to ask you, my friend. Now, we're getting down to business. 
How has the river been today? I mean, that's pretty true, but uh, my friend, that's not what I, not what I was saying. I was, I was meant, how has the river been today? And you say, password, password yep. Right. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Go for it, my friend. No worries. All right, Hannah, I'll grab that bag from you. We'll hand off to her and we'll be on our way, all right? Okay, I think I got it. All right, what's that pass for, friend? Yeah, uh, uh, here's your pass. Oh. Your hands in the air like you just don't care. Do what she says, everyone. Do what she says. Hold on, hold on. You can't come on board the boat unless you know the password. Right, folks? Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, great. It's the easiest way to get out of a robbery ever. Just uh, oh, actually, wait a minute. How'd you know the password? Did you tell her? I bet it was you. Okay. Yeah, I love games. Alright, let's see. Uh, both rocks, chicken feet, chicken stew. I think it is you made one. Oh, well, it's because I have to go to the bathroom and I have to give oh, people like whistle when they're in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, just like off the dock? Wait. Well, how'd you know that was there? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I mean, you have to go to the bathroom. Oh, well, you're welcome. I like joking around. Oh, 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 you're welcome. I like it's really unfortunate that we did get robbed. Uh, I hope, just I know, I know, maybe not everyone has been robbed before. It's actually happened to me seven times. But uh, just to make sure we're all like okay, there's no mental trauma. Can we just do that Snake River Wolf call to make sure we're all alright? Everyone, Snake River Wolf call. All right, some of y'all need therapy. It looks like. All right. <laughs> now, uh, well, dang, Nabbit, we lost the gold. Uh, now, my friend Hannah, why would you hand her the bag like that? No, we all saw. All right, we all saw Hannah hand her the bag of gold. That's what we're gonna tell Trapper Dan, though, right? Because Trapper Dan will fire us, he won't fire you, right? You yeah. take the ball from your yeah. friend? I definitely saw Hannah lose the Right, yeah. absolutely. That's what, that's what we said, Colin, right? Yeah. Unless someone wants to swim back there and go get it for me, who knows how to swim? Anyone know how to swim? No one knows how to swim. Oh, you know how to swim? Have you got your tennis shot lately? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, folks, y'all see that flag up there? That's Edda Fox's cavalry flag. That means reinforcements are on their way. But it's a good thing you decided to bring that on board my ship because now we can use it to fight off them civilians. You know how to swim? Well, don't worry, folks, because we got, actually got the dynamite right here. Now we can fight off them civilians, but then blow them up and... Wait, hang on a second. Woo! We got the gold! They must have gotten the dynamite back by mistake! You know what? It's a good thing I decided to switch the bags on purpose. Right, everyone? Really? Right, everyone? Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Some of y'all better know. No, I'm going to hold on to this right in here just for safekeeping, right? Wait. Hang on a second. Why are all them wolves guarding Trapper Dan's secret gold mine? What you doing there, friends? Oh! oh yeah, it serves you right for stealing our gold, outlaw. Yeah, that's right. I got your gold and the location of your secret mine. Us civilians don't be rich. Drop the bag, you no know, good stinky, stanky, stonky, outlaw. <laughs> what you gonna do? Come through that snake water magnet? I'll show you just how stanky I can really be. Oh, he ain't got the gold though, he got the dynamite. Do something. Uh -oh. Good thing I rigged this TNT box up this morning. They call me Boom Girl for nothing. Wait, Boom Girl? What? Wait. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, pretty impressive that you managed to do that. How long has that been rigged to blow? She's an hour ago, folks. All right, well, uh, you know, y'all, this has been a pretty exciting day on the river. You know, first we had the gold. And then we got robbed, and we lost the gold. Well, and then it turns out we actually had the gold all along, and then we blew someone up! We can think on the moral implications of that part later. But, thank y'all for being the best crew a fella could have ever asked for today, and for promising on your lives not to tell Trapper Dan that anything that happened was my fault, right? 
on your lives, I said. All right, because we're all blaming Hannah, that's right. Now, oh my goodness, Captain, you see that? No, I don't. It's the Basilisk right there. Look at the size of that thing, folks. Yeah, that's the Basilisk, right? I told you all it didn't exist. I guess I was, uh, I guess I was wrong. Oh, it's, and it's starting to wake up, folks. Well, as long as it doesn't spray its venom at us, we should be just fine. It's sprayed its venom at us. Oh, Captain, get us out of here. I'm 18, I'm too young to die. Oh, just uh, just go back to sleep, friend. Go back to sleep, all right, all right. Ooh, y'all are, are all pretty brave in the face of danger, you know. I'm sure when Trapper Dan hears about your bravery, he'll make you all honorary members of the Snake River Gang. And then y'all could be full-time smugglers too. Who wants to be a full-time smuggler? Oh, it don't pay that well. I'll or you can just come right drive now. the boat, because it's better. Oh, you want to drive the boat? Boat's better. Oh, the driving the boat's better? Well, you do get to be a captain, which means you get to marry people, which is pretty nice. Now, speaking of captain, as we approach the dock, you got any words of wisdom for us? Yes, I do. Alrighty, everybody, please remain seated until I tell you to sit. to get up. Also, as we approach this dock here, you may experience some mild bumping. I personally like to call that bumping some peer pressure. Good one, captain. See, this is what you got to look forward to if you become a captain, making groaning jokes, just like me. Now remember, folks, I get paid by the laughs, he gets paid by the claps. Let's give him a round of applause. Now, when we do finish docking, make sure you take all of your personal belongings off the boat with you. Otherwise, they'll be sold at Trapper Dan's next auction. I'll buy them at half price, and you'll never get them back. Promise you that. That includes your kids, too. Take your kids off the boat. I ain't a babysitter. I don't get paid to babysit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Take them on over to the island. They Did love kids over there. you the kids were putting them to work? 